five-ish doctors. Um, now, the triumph! Now, wasn't that actually the best thing about that weekend? That was the best thing on me. I think. It was, a, you know, it was a thing with the true spirit. I, I, will, I will honestly say, and I've said this publicly, that the 50th anniversary had the best special known to man, and it wasn't the one with the fluffy haired guy and the guy with the fringe. <laughs> <laughs> the Five Ish Doctors was to many classic fans the anniversary special. Yep. And. Oh, come on! <laughs> and if you, ha if you are a Doctor Who fan and you haven't seen it, uh, you are dead to all of us. Just, no. How did it come about? How, I mean, Peter, you were the instigator of this. How did it come about? Because all I saw was what I thought was the fish doctors. Oh, yeah, well, that, that fish doctor was quite late on because we wanted to start tweeting something mysterious leading up to the, uh, the, you know, the, the release of it because there was sort of speculation. Because I, I said this this morning, but I'll say it again. It started off about two years before at a convention where I was uh, uh, asked if we were going to be in the 50th anniversary special, and um, I didn't think we were, and I foolishly said, well, if we're not going to be, I'm damn well going to make my own. And then, um, and I didn't suspect that anyone would record that. Uh, but funnily enough, a, a month later, I did another convention, and someone said to me, a question from the audience, oh, apparently you're making your own 50th anniversary special. Um, so I realized I was have to, going to have to, uh, to come up with something, and I had this germ of an idea about me trying to get into the 50th anniversary special, sneak into it, and I realised it would be much better if uh, um, the other classic doctors were also in it. So I asked uh, Colin, Sylvester and Paul, uh, I cornered them when we were in uh, New Zealand, I think. Australia, New Zealand. And they very kindly said yes. I, I suspect they were slightly uh, uh, unconvinced by it. Um, and probably the most gratifying thing about, about the whole experience, because the script sort of grew and grew, and then, um, you know, because I wrote a little scene uh, in with my, uh, my sons in it, and then uh, Colin said, oh, can I have a scene with my daughter in? <laughs> so we wrote that as well, and then uh, Sylvester said, oh, I'm, I'm really, you know, I'd love to be in it, but I am filming The Hobbit in New Zealand. Well, and you? I, and I yes, thought, I was in The Hobbit, you know. <laughs> That was news to Peter Jackson as well. But, um, yeah, so anyway, so when he said he was filming The Hobbit in New Zealand, I thought, ah, I'll, I'll write a little scene with Peter Jackson in it. And I, I said it to him, uh, and uh, Sylvester, I think you mentioned it to him. Well. Yeah, I asked him if he'd do it. And uh, he sent back an email saying, yes, I certainly take part in it, and I'll get Ian McKellen in it as well. So I thought, this is now uh, uh, unbelievable. Uh, but the, as I said, the most gratifying thing was that as I think we, we progressed with quite difficult to organise because we were quite busy, weren't we? Yeah. Uh, um, but as time went on, I think both Colin and Sylvester kind of uh, uh, thought, oh, actually, this is quite a good idea. <laughs> so it, it moved up in priority, I think, and Sylvester very kindly uh, helped us out coming back from Paris a day early. Yeah, Paris. Like Paris. I gave up Paris. You gave up Paris just, just for me. For a corridor at the BBC. So romantic, yeah. Uh, and uh, anyway, uh, um, and then uh, um, I brought my daughter on board as producer, and um, uh, she rang up and said, oh, um, apparently John Barrowman's a bit upset about not being in the, uh, uh, the 50th anniversary special. And I thought, all oh, right, I'll write a scene for him then. Um, and and uh, anyway, we, we got it done um, by the skin of our teeth. And you got the son-in-law in it as well? We got the son-in-law in it, and we got the current doctor in it, and we got... Uh, uh, Grandchildren. <laughs> yeah, got... The cat, the dog. <laughs> I think... I think the thing you have to bear in mind is when Peter first asked us, I was really up for it, but I knew what it was like trying to get something like that off the ground. Yeah. So my, any scepticism I had was about <clears throat> the ability to persuade all those people to do something decent yes. uh, rather than go off and do a half good job because that's all you can get. And it's a tribute to Peter that he managed to get the con the BBC <laughs> somehow into allowing us to use their studios, their props, <laughs> and everything else, given the subject matter of what we were making. Yeah, yeah. And then they all wanted to be it as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Stephen Moffat, I believe, you know, he suddenly realised after a little while when he was in, he suddenly thought, wait a minute, I'm the villain of the piece. <laughs>
great treat uh, to do, and uh, thank you very much to these guys for giving us uh, uh, giving their time. Because really, no, nobody, got, nobody, got, nobody got money for this at all. That was the amazing thing, really. No, everyone, we, didn't, we didn't get any money. Yeah. <laughs> everyone, get your hats, boys, get your hats. Come on. Everyone sort of signed off uh, 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 on, the, on it just for the chance to be in it, and that was fantastic. And, um, I, and, and I said this morning, but I'll say it again. The thing is that, um, really and truly, although I'm very gratified, we're very gratified, every, a lot of people enjoyed it. It was specifically made, and I think maybe this is why it was pop so popular, it was very specifically made for the fans who, who wanted us to be in it and were uh, uh, disappointed by the fact that we weren't. Um, So well, my final thing I'll say is we, we did try and get Colin, uh, my Tom Baker in it. I wrote him a scene, Tom Baker, but he just didn't answer my emails. And, uh, <laughs> much like um, the Five Doctors, oddly enough. And when he refused to be in it, essentially, uh, I thought, well, why not use exactly the same scene from the Five Doctors? Uh, and I showed it to his friend of mine, and he said, that's a better joke than the scene that Tom Baker. <laughs> So uh, that worked out as well. So it's brilliant. But we couldn't get a waxwork because it melted him. <laughs> <laughs> Before the, uh, the lawyers start coming in, I've been told that we're going to be opening up the microphone over there for questions. Yeah, so if on. you have a question, one over there quick. Don't put your hand up. You need to go to the microphone.